Hello everyone, this is Junjin Tigandesa at sa video na ito, i-discuss ko ang sampung types of sets at magbibigay ako ng mga examples. Just keep on watching. Hello mga anak shis, welcome to Math TV PH. Ang channel na ito ay tungkol sa math tutorials, lectures or discussions na Tagalog at Taglish na dedicated sa lahat ng mga estudyante. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga anak shis at sa lahat ng mga nanonood sa video na to. Merong sampung types of set na ibabahagi ko sa inyo. Una, subset. If every element of a set A is also an element of set B, we say set A is a subset of B. Ang ibig sabihin, kapag ang element ng A ay nasa element ng B, ito ay subset. Ito ang simbol ng subset. A is a subset of B. For example, if the element of set A are 4, 5, 6, and the element of set B are 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then... A is a subset of B. Kasi ang element ng set A na 4, 5, 6 ay nasa element ng set B na 4, 5, 6. Another example, if the elements of set A are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the element of set B are 1, 2, 3, 4, then B is a subset of A. Kung mapapansin ninyo, yung B ay nasa subset ng A. Kaya mas nauna yung B kaysa sa A. At, hindi pwedeng maging A is a subset of B dahil ang 4, 5, 6 ay wala sa set B. Another type of set ay equal set. Two sets A and B are called equal if they have equal numbers and similar types of elements. Ibig sabihin kung may pare-pareho silang bilang at parehong elements. Okay, so if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A, this implies A is equal to B. Example, if the elements of set A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the element of set B is equal to 4, 5, 6, 2, 1, 3, then we can say that A is equal to B. Kasi, yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ay meron din sa set B. Another example, if the element of set B are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the element of set C are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Monday, then we can say that B is equal to C. Kasi lahat ng elements na nandito ay nandito rin sa set C. Another type of set is empty or null sets. A set which does not contain in any elements is called as empty or null or void set. It is denoted by like this. For example, ang given ay the set of even prime numbers greater than 2. Diba ang only prime number na even ay 2 lang? E ang naka-state dito is greater than 2. Ibig sabihin, it is empty. Ito ay null set. Number 2, the set of integers whose square is 7. Wala namang perfect square na ang sagot is 7. Ang mga perfect square lang natin ay diba 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Then, ang susunod na dun is 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, ibig sabihin, empty set. And another example, if set A is the element of X such that X is less than 100 and X is greater than 500. Paano ito, ba? X is less than 100 daw. Imaginein mo na lang yung 100. Ano ba yung mga less than 100 pesos natin? For example, di ba yung mga 20, 50, yung 5, 10, or piso. As example ng greater than 500, for example, sa pera, ang greater than 500 is 1,000, di ba? Ibig sabihin, walang number na less than 100 tapos greater than 500. So, it is an empty set. Another type of set is the singleton set. A set which contains only one element is called singleton or unit set. Ibig sabihin, mag-isa lang yung laman niya, mag-isa lang yung element. Real life example, kapag wala pang asawa, sinasabing single. So, ganun din sa set. Mag-isa lang, walang kasama. Example, set A with an element of 6. So, mag-isa lang siya. Ibig sabihin, singleton set siya. Number 2, 
Set B is the element of x such that x is greater than 4 but less than 6 and x is a whole number. Diba ang whole number na less than 6 and greater than 4 is 5. So, singleton set siya. Another example is the set of even prime number. The only even prime number is 2. Kaya, ito ay singleton set. Okay? Another type of set is finite set. A set which contains a definite number of elements is called a finite set. Empty set is also called a finite set. Ibig sabihin, kapag finite set, may hangganan siya. Hindi siya forever and ever. Example, the set of colors in the rainbow. Okay, so diba meron tayong Rajiviv na color of rainbow. The set of colors in the rainbow ay red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Another example is the set of B with an element of 2, 4, 6, 8. Tapos kung napapansin ninyo, meron ellipsis dito. Tapos merong 40. Ibig sabihin, May mga numbers dito, pero hanggang 40 lang. So, finite set siya. Number 3, the set of days in a week. Ano ba yung mga set of days in a week? Diba? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, finite set siya. Another example is the set of letters in English alphabet. So, may hangganan din ang English alphabet. Another type of set is, kung merong finite, meron ding infinite set. A set which contains infinite number of elements. Ibig sabihin, ito na yung my forever. Sana all my forever, di ba? Example, the set N with an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tapos kung napapansin ninyo, yung may mga tuldok at wala nang susunod. Ibig sabihin yan, ellipsis forever na. Infinite na siya. The set of natural numbers. Number 2. The set of integers, set Z, with an element of negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. Tapos kung napapansin ninyo, merong ellipsis na ang ibig sabihin ay forever or infinite. Walang hanggan. Then, the set of all even numbers. Then, another example is set of all real numbers. Ano ba yung mga real numbers natin? Maraming sakop ang real numbers at ito ay infinite set. Another type of set is the cardinal number of set. The number of distinct elements in a given set. Dito, bibilangin mo kung ilan yung belong or kung ilan yung nandoon sa loob ng set. It is denoted by n of a or n quantity of a. Example, set a with an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, bibilangin mo kung ilan yung nandoon sa set na yon. So, ang cardinality number of set A is equal to 5 kasi 5 lang yung nandoon sa set A. Number 2, let B be the set of letters in the word mathematics. Kung napapansin ninyo, merong mga naulit na letra. Sa pagsulat ng set, kailangan hindi na maulit yung mga letters. So, Ang magiging cardinal number of set niyan, meron tayong M, A, T, H, E, I, C, S. And the cardinal number of set B is equal to 8 kasi 8 lang yung set B. Huwag mo nang isali yung mga naulit na letra. Another example is, let C be an odd numbers less than 12. Ano ba yung mga odd numbers less than 12, di ba? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11. So, the cardinal number of set is equal to 6 kasi anim lang yung nandun sa set. Another type of set is the disjoint sets. Two sets A and B are said to be disjoint if they do not have any element in common. Example, set A is the set of all even numbers. And set B is the set of all odd numbers. Kung pagsasamahin mo yan, walang naulit, walang mauulit, ibig sabihin, kapag pinagsama mo sila, walang mauulit na numbers. So, this is a disjoint set. 
A and B do not have any element in common. Okay? So, kahit pagsamahin mo yung even at odd, wala silang common. Another type of set is power set. The collection of all possible subsets of a given set is the power set of A. It is denoted by P of A. Example, if the element of set A are 1, 2, 3, then ang power set ito yung ilalagay mo lahat ng pwede mong ilagay. Okay, so pwede namang null set, pwedeng 1, ilagay mo yung 1, pwede yung 2, pwedeng 3, pwedeng pagsamahin mo yung 1 and 2, yung 1 and 3, tapos 2 and 3, and 1, 2, 3. Okay, another type of set is the universal set. A set which contains all the elements of other given sets is called a universal set. The symbol for denoting a universal set is U. Okay, so dito, ang universal set ay sakop niya na lahat ng nandoon sa given na set. Sasakopin niya lahat. Okay, example, if set A is an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, B is the element of 2, 3, 4, and C is the element of 3, 5, 7. Kung pagsasamahin mo lahat yan, yun na yung universal set. Diba? Ang meron dito sa A is 1, 3, 4. Ang meron dito sa B is 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. And meron sa C is 3, 5, 7. So, lahat yan, pag pinagsama mo, ang tawag dyan ay universal set. Another example is, if P is a set of all whole numbers and Q is a set of all negative numbers, then the universal set is a set of all integers. Diba? Ang whole numbers natin is 0 hanggang positive then ang negative numbers natin is negative 1 hanggang negative infinity pag pinagsama mo lahat yun ito ay magiging set of all integers okay yun lamang mga anaksis at sa lahat ng mga nanonood sana naintindihan ninyo kung ano yung iba't ibang type of set kung meron kayong mga katanungan just comment down below at kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video na to, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye mga anak, she's.